Hi, good afternoon. I'm a David Minchin. I'm a CEO of Helium One, and I'm a delighted and excited to be part of a team that's pioneering the discovery of the largest helium resource in the world. It's worked. Yep. So um, Helium One, we are listed on the London Stock Exchange on AIM. We've got a market cap of about sixty million dollars. Um, we have a we have a significantly de-risk basin, in which we have identified multiple pers pers perspective uh, into 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 uh, pardon me multiple perspective intervals, um, and identified helium shows all the way from basement up up to up nearly to, to the surface. Uh, we have a expanded subsurface data da database, uh, which we're using to uh, prioritize targets for our 2022 drilling camp campaign, which we're hoping to kick off in Q3 of this year. A lot of people have been uh, coming to me at this conference and asking, why helium? Why is this important for us? The world is critically short of, of helium, which is one of the unsung commodities of, of, the, of the modern technical world. Um, it's got a number of high-tech, high-value, high-growth high app, app applications and a number of unique physical attrib attributes which makes it unsubstitutable in these um, usage. Uh, its main usage at the moment is in medical, uh, which accounts for about 20% of world, of world demand. It's used uh, to cool the magnets in, in MRI scanners to uh, superconducting state as uh, so they work. It's also used in assisted breathing. Uh, key growth areas are in ma 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 manufacturing, uh, high-tech manufacturing of semiconductors and fiber optics. Um, if you need to produce something in a very pure environment, it has to be made in a helium environment. It's also got key, key, key usage in space development and in uh, c computing in data centers, which is another key growth area. From this broad range of high-value, high-tech applications, there is, however, a critical global shortage. Um, Russia was anticipated to provide 25% of global sub supply by 2030. Subsequent to the Russian invasion of, of, of Ukraine, this is now likely to come off stream. Uh, that will leave a shortfall of about 2 billion cubic feet w within the next five to eight years. There is a current critical short shortage, and there is no light at the end of the tunnel. This is reflected in helium pricing, which has grown at an average rate of 8% CAGR over the last 20 years. Um, and in the last 12 months or so, or, or, or so we've seen a decoupling of spot price from, from contract price. Contract price up to $350 per per thousand cubic feet. And in 20, Q1, of 2020, Q1 of 2022, the bulk spot price has been over $1,000 per thousand cubic feet. This is uncharted territory in this commodity, and it's ref reflecting the critical shortage which we have and the problems which end users are having in identifying secure sources of helium. Although helium is an expensive gas, when it's being used in applications like semiconductor chip manufacturing, it's the lowest value part of a very high cost process. And frankly, end users would rather pay $1,000 an MCF than turn their plant off for a day. This critical shortage is where helium one comes in. We had first move advantage in, in Tanzania to secure 100% ownership over 4,500 square kilometers of license area. We've got three project areas, um, our, our flagship being the Rukwa project in the southwest of Tanzania, which has an unrisked perspective recoverable helium resource of 138 billion cubic feet. This is the, the largest helium resource in the, in the, in the world. Um, and has potential to provide entirety of world supply for over 20 years, or a realistic 10 to 15% of global sub -sub supply for over a century. Uh, we've measured surface helium concentrations of over 10% helium. That's between 50 and 200 times higher grade than anything which is currently in, in, in production. 
And importantly, this is a primary helium. It's associated with nitrogen. Therefore, there's no greenhouse gases um, identified with the production of this source of, he of helium. We are at an advanced stage of exploration. Our 2021 drilling camp campaign provided proof of concept and evidence of a working helium system. For the first time ever, we've identified subsurface primary helium in the African continent uh, with multiple uh, helium shows in drill muds from basement all the way up nearly to surface. Uh, we've identified excellent quality reservoirs, thick sealing unit units, including a 130 meter thick clay stone at the top of the crew, all of which indicates a working helium cyst system with multiple play, play types that require additional testing uh, and has encouraged us to advance with mobilizing a large rig for our 2022 drilling camp campaign, capable of drilling an eight and a half inch hole all the way to two and a half thousand meters. We've uh, been busy uh, over the last six, six months in the rainy season when uh, we, we've not been able to get a rig on, on, onto the ground. We've been de developing our subsurface database. And this is, uses information from a range of source, sources from multispectral satellite specs, spe spectroscopy uh, all, all the way down to airborne gravity grade, gradiometry and all tied up with chem scan information so we can relate what we're seeing in seismic and this data sets to actual lithological in information from the hole that we've drilled. All this is dramatically improving our ability. Our, it's a predictive tool, toolkit for identifying drilling targets uh, with a view to mobilizing a rig into Q3 of this year to test the system and to make a discovery and bring some free gas up to, up to surface. In the event of a, dis in the event of, of a, of a discovery, uh, the economics of, of, of the project are very, very bright. It's a low, low capex, high margin operation. Uh, capital cost on the plant is about $50 million for a modular plant producing 350,000 MCF a year. That's uh, about $120 million worth of gas every, every year. Uh, with, with, with an opex of 15 to $20 per MCF, the margin is very, very high. Uh, we'd expect to re receive payback in the first 12 months, from w which point we'd be able to self-finance mod Module 2 and Module 3, uh, bring ourselves up to producing a billion cubic feet, feet, feet a year, and also be a flexible sub sub supplier. And like current supplies coming as a byproduct of hydrocarbon, we'll be able to turn our production up or, or down to uh, satisfy uh, supply short, 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 short shortages in the event of a supply shock, shock event or to uh, adapt ourselves to additional, additional new sources of, of demand as they come and be the swing sub, sub supplier in what's a very tight mar mar market. Uh, it would also put us in a position of being the company that controls the, the price of this commodity over the next century. And that's what's going to make us a strategic asset. Uh, and that's why I'm so delighted to, to be involved in this work that we're doing. I have about, that's more or less me, me, me done. The countdown's turned red. Uh, but just to summarize, this is a strategic res resource. We're exploring in a basin which has been significantly de-risked. De we have a team in, in we have a team in, in place and the capability to make a discovery in 2022 and develop this high margin op operation, which due to the fact there's no CO2 associated with the project, allows us to be part of a green trans transition and to feed a vital commodity into the digital revolution. Thank you. Thank you very much.